predicting March Madness. It is the Sweet 16, folks. I can't wait, bro. I can't freaking wait. It's going to be insane. But we're going to go ahead and predict a perfect bracket from the Sweet 16 and on. Our bracket currently is looking a little eh. You know, my Final Four teams are still alive, which is cool. Uh, but we're going to see what's going on right here. I'm going to just make this based off what I've seen so far. And, yeah, um, pretty much that's it. But to begin with, we're going UConn-San Diego State. It's a rematch of the national championship last year where UConn kind of handled San Diego State. But San Diego State is coming a little different this year. Uh, Jaden Ledee, um, he, he's a problem. Um, he's definitely a problem. He's going to be a problem for the UConn Huskies. But in all honesty, bro, like, UConn is good and all. Um, San Diego State's having a great tournament once again, like Sweet 16 again. I just don't know, bro. UConn is tough, bro. UConn is tough, bro. Like, I don't know who's stopping UConn right now. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Um, one, of my, one of my favorite matchups uh, from this weekend upcoming is Illinois against Iowa State. Iowa State has the best defense in the country, while Illinois has the number one offense in the country. So this is going to be an interesting game. Um, Terrence Shannon Jr. is tough for Illinois. I think Keyshawn Gilbert on Iowa State is tough as well. So this is gonna be a this is gonna be a really good game, bro. Like I think this is uh this is gonna be one of the toughest games. Uh both Illinois and Iowa State won their conferences. So I'm not really sure who I want to take on this. Um based off my final before before I got Iowa State going to the final four. Uh so I'm gonna take Iowa State right here. Do I have them beating UConn? I don't know. We're gonna get to that in a sec. But after that, we're gonna go ahead and look at North Carolina, Alabama. Alabama has an elite offense. Uh, Sears is tough. Um, they're just an elite offense. Uh, but North Carolina, I don't know, bro. They're damn near like all 25 years old. So they got a little bit of age on these young fellas. And I think that North Carolina just has the edge, bro. R.J. Davis is tough. Armando Bacot is tough, um, even though he's 30 years old. But, you know, he's still in college and he's still eligible. So I don't think I really see... Um, Bama, I mean, not Bama. I don't see Bama winning this game, if I'm going to be honest. North Carolina just looks like the better team. Um, so we're going to advance them to the Elite Eight. Clemson, Arizona, interesting game. I low-key had Clemson going out in the first round, which is kind of crazy of me. Um, but yeah, this might be another, you know, stereotypical pick. Um, but I'm taking Arizona in this game. Uh, I'm, I don't, I don't have faith in, uh... I don't have faith in Clemson. I haven't had faith in them since the start of the tourney. But, you know, it's it's a cool ride. You know, Sweet 16, 6 seed, that's cool. Um, Arizona, I just, I got Caleb, I believe in Caleb Williams. Uh, Caleb Williams. Caleb Love, he's tough. He's a bucket. If he's hitting shots, it's good. they're going to be tough to beat. If he's missing shots, they're beatable. They're beatable. Um, Houston, Duke. Now, Duke just went bonkers, bro. Like, Jeremy McCain just had, like, what, 40? Hit like eight threes or something. He was going crazy. Like absolutely bonkers, bro. You know? And then it, uh, but Houston, bro. I think their guards are going to get after Jared McCain, bro. Their guards are going to be like, this mofo paint his nails. We on that. We on that. They going to be on Jared McCain ass, pause. They going to be on him, trying to go crazy, trying to lock him up. LJ Cryer is going to be, he hitting them threes. Uh, Shed, whatever his name is, is going to be cooking. And it's just going to be crazy. Like, it's going to be. It's going to be crazy. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take Houston. This is looking like a familiar thing upcoming, but just wait. NC State, got my boy Zebo. Some of the best footwork in the country. Uh, big 300-pounder. I don't know how Marquette's going to stop him uh, individually. Then they got a couple of decent guards, uh, but Marquette is tough, bro. Tyler Kolek's probably the best point guard in the country. Uh, that left hand is unstoppable. If you can make him go right, he's just going to come back left and get that bucket. Cam Jones is looking like one of the most prolific scorers in the country besides Terrence Shannon Jr. And uh, I forget his name for somebody else. Whatever. Besides Terrence Shannon Jr., he looks like one of the best scorers in the country. Um, and maybe Dalton Connect, but, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, bro, Marquette going to come away with this one. Send him to the Elite Eight. I know y'all see the Marquette shirt. I promise I'm not biased, though. I promise I'm not biased. Um, but, yeah, Marquette's going to go ahead and advance to the Elite Eight. And best believe me watching that game, I'm going to be like, let's go. Woohoo, Marquette, yeah. Um, I'm going to be lit. Yeah, 100% I'm going to be lit. 
Uh, down to the last Sweet 16 team games, we got Purdue against Gonzaga. Purdue has walked through this tourney so far. Let me tell you that they probably won both games by like 40. Um, they haven't seen a whole lot of uh, pressure. And then Gonzaga, I had them losing the first round, which is insane, right? Yeah, I was hating on these uh, these predominantly white teams. No, nothing in particular. I was just hating on them, bro. I, I, I didn't think Gonzaga was good. I didn't think Clemson was good. It's just how it is. But I do have an Epsta upset brewing. I have the number one Purdue Boilermakers going down to the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Why? I don't know, bro. Just watching Gonzaga play, bro. They're just always here. Like, no matter who's on their team, that's nine straight Sweet 16s. I just don't see them losing right now. Like, I can see Purdue losing. They're not going to hit all them shots, bro. And their guards are really not like that. Um, I just don't. I just don't know, bro. I think Gonzaga is the type of team that would upset Purdue for real. Like, it just it just makes sense. Like, it's like storybook. It just makes sense for real. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely interested in that game. And the last game, we got Creighton, Tennessee. This is, besides the Illinois-Iowa State game, this is the game I'm most excited for. Uh, Creighton barely beat Oregon. Literally barely beat Oregon. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who they're going to put on Dalton Connect. If it's Bailey Shireman, that's a barbecue chicken. But if Dalton has a good game, they're going to win. If he plays like doo-doo, they're probably going to lose. Uh, but I'm going to bet that Dalton's going to have a good game because that brother has been going crazy all season. And uh, I just think Tennessee, this is their year, bro. This is their year to, you know, get out get out the Sweet 16. We'll see if it's their year to advance any further. But here we are, Elite Eight. Eight teams left, bro. We got all three one seeds, all four two seeds. UConn, Iowa State. In my previous bracket, I picked Iowa State to win this game. But, bro, UConn's too tough, bro. I'm not going to lie. UConn's just too tough, bro. My bracket's going to get busted right here for sure with the uh, with what they got going on. But, yeah, I'm, i got to take UConn, bro. They're just too freaking good, man. Um, North Carolina against Arizona. This is a dream matchup, bro. Caleb Love against uh, his whole team in March. And he's going to get the job done, bro. They're going to get the job done. They're going to beat North Carolina. Uh, he's going to beat his old team. And Arizona is headed to Arizona for the Final Four. They're headed back home. Uh, so, yeah, that's a pretty cool thing for them. Up here, we got Marquette and Houston. We got some elite guard play. We got Shed and Cryer against Kolek and Cam Jones. Hey, man, shout out Shed and Cryer, but y'all ain't got it this time, bro. The Marquette Golden Eagles are to the Final Four. Talk to me. Talk to me. Marquette Golden Eagles are in Final Four. Anybody watching this video that's going to be in Arizona, hit me up, bro. I'm going to be there. So let me know, bro. Let me know if y'all want to do a video. I'm, I, I'll link with some of y'all boys. I'll link with some of y'all boys. But, yeah, man, uh, it's going to be insane. I can't wait. It's going to be a good time. But uh, they're going to be playing. I want to say Gonzaga, but I can't, bro. I got to take my two seed right here. I got to take my two seed. Woo! I got to take my two seed with the uh, with Tennessee. And then uh, in the Final Four, UConn, Arizona, Marquette, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a difficult one, bro. UConn is just not losing, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. UConn is literally just not losing, bro. How many times we got to say it? UConn isn't losing? Like, Arizona, I just don't know how they match up with them, bro. Who's guarding the big men? I just think their guards are better. They shoot better. They're better. They're just better. And then over here, Dalton Kinnett's getting that stuff locked up. Um, they can't guard the pick and roll. Marquette to the championship, and we have a Big East championship game, a repeat of the Big East championship. The last two winners of the Big East at UConn and Marquette. Hear me out. UConn is 3-0 and against Marquette this year. Um, Marquette's played them twice without Tyler Kolek. The one time Tyler Kolek played in UConn, UConn won by 30. The last two times they've played have been very close. But I don't know if I could take Marquette. What y'all think, chat? What y'all think, chat? If y'all know me well enough, you know who I'm about to take right here because we take a Marquette, baby. We win the whole thing, bro. This is not biased. I promise this is done with sophisticated and genius, uh, intelligent analytics. Put it all together, and we have a great, a great freaking championship, bro. Marquette for the win, dude. I think it's a lock, bro. Like, 
if y'all are watching this, go ahead and bet Marquette. Let me go ahead and submit this little bragger right here. Yeah, my champion. Um, shout out Marquette. We're gonna go ahead and win the whole thing, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be a movie, bro. Uh, but yeah, if y'all like this video, like, subscribe, comment. You love it. If y'all wanna play some underdog fantasy, hit that link. Hit that link in the description. Go ahead and sign up. Minimum deposit is ten dollars. You can get whatever you put in. They'll match it for you. Throw in a hundred, you get twenty. You throw in fifty, you get a hundred. And yeah, make some bet. Make some uh, make some pickums, man. Uh, you can hit me for the pickums. I got you. I got all the locks. But yeah, it's good stuff, man. But we out up here, bro.